Welcome to day eight of the ANZ East Coast Stallion Parade Tour and this morning we're here at Newgate Farm where we saw their three first season sires Osmosis, Militarise and King's Gambit. We also saw North Pacific who will have his first two year olds hitting the track this season. Osmosis, Zoo Star's heir apparent and the only Group 1 winning son of leading sire Zoo Star. He was the winner of the Group 1 Coolmore Stud Stakes and as we know that is certainly a stallion making race. His trainer, Bjorn Baker, was here to see him this morning and he stands for $44,000 this season. Precocious, scintillating and extraordinarily talented. King's Gambit stands his first season at Newgate Farm. He's the only son of I'm Invincible to place in a Group 1 Golden Slipper. He then went on at 3 to take out the Group 2 Roman Consul, a sire making race defeating subsequent Group 1 winners Osmosis and Celestial Legend. He stands this season at Newgate Farm for a fee of $22,000. Militarise, a dual Group 1 winning two-year-old, winning the ATC size produce and the champagne stakes, and then coming back at three to win the Group 1 Golden Rose, another sire making race. Chris Waller spoke very highly of this horse this morning. He has a full book this season already, and he will stand for $38,500. We're set to see the first two-year-olds this season by North Pacific. One thing we learnt during the parade this morning, there'll be 155 two-year-olds on the way through. That's 55 more than Tassel last season, the sire of Group 1 winner, Manal. He stands this season at Newgate Farm for $16,500. We're at our second parade here of the day on day eight, and we're at Kitchwin Hills, where we paraded three stallions, including Graf, Dubious, and Almavale's Senior Fox. Joining me today is Zoe Powell of both Kitchwin and Almavale. Zoe, thank you for having us out here, and would you be able to tell me a little bit about Graf? He's uh, gonna have his first season of two-year-olds and obviously a few of them look to be pretty quick and the rumour is they're pretty precocious too. Yeah definitely really exciting time having Graf's first two-year-olds head to the stables. We've had pretty much glowing reviews saying that a lot of them are targeting those pre-Christmas races which is what you always want to hear. Very precocious like him, head down, ears back, get the job done and uh, fast from all reports which is great to hear as well. Any that we need to keep an eye on this season? Yeah, there's a few. There's one with Gay and Adrian, another one with the Snowden team, and then uh, there's one in New Zealand to watch as well. And second stallion that we were shown today is Dubious. He was a star on the racetrack and he started off his career uh, on the track very well as well with seven winners and a group one performer as well. Yeah, definitely. It's been great and it's great to have him here in the Hunter Valley. Super excited for his first Hunter Valley crop to start dropping now. He's had seven winners off his first two year old crop in Queensland as well as a group one performer in New Zealand. Um, and by all reports based off that, we're hoping for a lot more. He covered a great quality book of mares here as well, which we're um, hoping if he's got seven winners and a Group 1 place off his Queensland book that he can have yeah, some great performers going forward in the Hunter Valley. And the third and final stallion that we had a look at today was Senior Fox. He's one that certainly took my eye anyway and it's great to have him here and have him on show and especially coming up to the parade this weekend. Yeah, definitely. It's um, a great horse. He's privately owned by one guy who raced him and just absolutely loves him. He covered more of a private book last year covering all of his owner Joe's mares and we've just had our first foal on the ground, a beautiful uh, striking chestnut who we'll have to get some footage of out there and yeah look he definitely has some people coming to him outside of Joe this year. He looks exactly like his sire Exceed and Excel and um, our stallion manager's just done a great job prepping him and we're really excited to have everyone out to the farm so they can see him in person for the first time. We are here for our third parade of the day at Yarraman Park Stud where we had the opportunity to see Brave Smash, Hellbent and Australian champion sire I Am Invincible. The first stallion we had the opportunity to see at Yarraman today was Brave Smash, the group one winning sprinter and also the sire of Komochi, Brave Mead and Brave Spirit, all stakes winners. You can tell by that strong athletic build that he was a group one winning sprinter and no doubt putting that into his progeny. He stands this season at Yarraman Park Stud for $33,000. We also saw Halbert, the Group 1 winning son of I Am Invincible. He's produced two Group 1 winners in Magic Time and Benedetta. He's a magnificent looking dark bay horse standing at 16 hands tall and this year he'll stand for a fee of $38,500 including GST. It is an absolute privilege to be here with I Am Invincible standing behind me and to talk about him today. Australia's champion sire and an absolute legend of the Australian stallion ranks. The sire of champion racehorses, Imperatriz, In Secret, Vidora, Brazen Bow, Home Affairs and Loving Gabby, just to name a few. It's been an absolute privilege to watch him parade today. He stands this season at Yarraman Park Stud for $275,000.